Okay, well, what stops people from progressing to the next level in life? I think the first thing is not even knowing what the next level is. All right, because what is the next level? Uh, we always hear this all the time, right? I want to go to the next stage of life. I want to get to the next level of life. You know, but what is the next level? Because my next level can be very different from your next level. And your next level could be very different from your next level, right? So I think what stops people from, from getting to the next level is not even knowing what the next level is, all right? Think about a GPS, all right? These days, we are all quite familiar with using Google Maps. What is the two most important uh, things that we need for Google Maps? We need a current destination, uh, sorry, our current location and our destination. Only with these two critical components can Google Maps plan out a route to take you from where you are to where you want to be. All right? So life is like Google Maps. So first, I would say, know what the next level is. Have clarity over what that next level is. And that next level has got to be where you want to be and not where people want you to be. All right? Because that's the other thing. A lot of times we want to be where someone else wants to be, but we don't really want to be there, but we think we want to be there. So that clarity is important. So that's the first thing, is not knowing what the next level means. The next is um, not taking action, not putting in the work. Right? So if I know where I want to go, but I don't pick myself up to even take that step forward to get there, nothing's going to happen. You know? So a lot of times people often say that, hey, you know what, I want to, I want to achieve this by the end of the year. Right? But they do absolutely nothing. Right? They do absolutely nothing, meaning they don't learn what they need to learn to get to where they want to be. They don't do what they need to do to get to where they want to be. They just sit there hoping that life will change, and life won't just change. There will always be the exception of the rule. You know, uh, I often use this example of smokers. Right? It's, a, it's, it's a known fact that smoking can cause right, uh, illnesses that can end our life. Everybody knows this. Even smokers know this. But every smoker will always look at the person who's been smoking for 90 years and never got cancer and say that my grandmother smoked for 90 years. She didn't get cancer. But they will completely forego the fact that she's probably one in a thousand who didn't get, but 999 got it. You know? so, so, yeah, there will always be the outliers where you know, life circumstances gave them certain opportunities that came their way that helped them achieve what they want to achieve in a short period of time. But for most of us, we must remember, if we know where we want to get to, we must put in the work to get there. All right? So that's the journey. So first, not knowing what the next level is. Next, not putting in the work. And lastly, what stops people from, from getting to that level, that next level, is doubt. All right? Doubt. And doubt, to me is the killer of dreams, when we give in to doubt, right? Doubt is good in that sense that doubt makes sure that we also don't take action blindly, right? We want to make sure that we are, we are looking at the actions that we're going to take. We want to know that, okay, is this within my capabilities? Is this within my, my means of doing it? If it's not, then it helps us to, to look at our blind spots, to look at what we're weak at and maybe seek out the help that we need, right? But if we give in to doubt to the point where I no longer believe I can do it, then that becomes the killer of dream. And unfortunately for most people, doubt is what stops us from going to the next level because um, a lot of times when we are on a path of trying to do something, that people around us have never done before, not just will we doubt ourselves, we will also be told by the people around us that we are on the wrong path. All right? Always remember this, okay? It's one of these words of comfort that I often tell myself. We never know what's in someone else's mind, but the best thing we can do is to just assume and accept that they are giving me, or they are giving us this feedback out of love, out of concern, 
And that's why they are telling us that, hey, you know what, this may not be right for us, this is not working. But we also have to remember that they haven't done it as well. Okay? So which means they are also telling you out of their experience of not doing it. So this is where we have to remember that, hey, you know what, there is always this opportunity to make something work. So take it with a pinch of salt, all right? And then we've got to find that way to regain that confidence from within to keep moving forward. No matter how small that step is, one step at a time, take us from where we are to where we want to be. All right? So that's, that's the three things. I think essentially it's like we should always try and never give up on anything, no matter how big our dream may be, correct? Yeah, I mean, keep moving forward. I wouldn't say never give up because sometimes you will have to give up. And when I say give up, I mean you have to pivot. Right? If something really hasn't been working and you've tried your very best and it still isn't working, then it is time to maybe pivot, re-look into what is this dream and maybe, maybe there's something you might have to change a little bit. All right? So also don't be on that, that path that is so one-dimensional that there's no room for changes, no room for flexibility because that isn't very good as well. All right, so yeah, so keep, I would say keep moving forward. As long as we are moving forward every day, I think that's, that's a measure of, of success.